Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play Dungeon Hack for the PC-98. Yeah, now that I bought this game I thought I might as well play it. Of course, I don't actually have a PC-98 to play, that I'm able to play this on, so I just have to emulate it. Um, we're going to do the Dungeon Hack game, I think that's what I want. Um, now the music slows down in this emulator. It's just the emulator. I swear it's not my computer. So I know my computer's more than powerful enough to run this game, unlike the last one. But we're gonna watch the intro. Um, do I have? Sorry, I'm just seeing if I can uh, see if I can speed up the emulator a little bit. I mean, I know I can kind of. Uh, I know I can speed it up. I just don't know. I don't know. This might this might be the right speed. Music sounds a little bit different, but it is the same. As you can see, this looks, if you've seen my, if you've seen the game before anyways on DOS, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, so uh, I don't think the PC-98 had, a, or at least the sound chip I'm using, supports vocal effects. Um, of course, on the bottom there, that's the Japanese translation of the, uh, that's a Japanese translation of the dialogue. The only reason I'm going to let this play out is because I don't think this is on YouTube at all. Is it? I don't know. What's going on in the bottom left corner? Is like some guy strangling an eel or something? I never understood if that's the lady's hair or if she's wearing some kind of like headpiece. I think it's her hair, but... I like how he raises his, his arms a bit, thinking like, he's gonna go after him, then he puts him back in. An ancient dungeon, and within it lies the orb! It's a strong magic that can point to maps. Now, what will you be paying me to fetch the orb? There lies gold and gem enough for any man. Oh, really? Take what you will, but return the orb to me. You'll pay me now, or I'll never get there. I need horses, supplies. Enough! Let the journey begin! No! Wait! Hey! No, wait! No, wait! Isn't my voice acting so much better than the original? Live or die, adventurer, but bring the orb to me. Yeah, see, I remember this text. I've seen this cut, this intro so many times. Pretty much know it word for word. Odds oh, blood! My insights feel all twisted about. Shall we see what awaits? I wish I could read it out in Japanese, but I don't know all the kanji, so... Sorry. Yeah, I forgot, just there's no digitized sound effects in this version. I, I think they replaced all of them with FM sound effects. I think. Oh, hey. <laughs> just bitch slaps him into the swamp and that kills him I guess if he hit his head on like some kind of rock or something and cracked his head open maybe bring on your worst dungeon I am ready Yoikanshu da I think that's the last sentence all right so um I have to remember how to Is it okay f12 is the mouse um all right yeah this game i don't believe supports the keyboard so we're gonna have to 
use the mouse here, which is really iffy to use. I don't think there's any way to configure it. Uh, I'm going to pretty much use the same characters I did last time. But as you can see, graphically, it's pretty much exactly the same as the DOS version. Like, I don't even think there's a difference. But of course, this one's going to be in Japanese, but as far as I know, nobody's ever played through this version of the game. So, at least not on YouTube, so there's a first time for everything. So yeah, that means I'm going to have to control everything with a mouse here. And like I said, it's really, it's really, it's weird. There's like a momentum to it, kind of like you move it for like, keep moving it to the right and it'll eventually go faster. I don't, know, I, I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll see. Um, now, as you can see, some of the character portraits have been changed. And I will be using one of them. Um, they should have just replaced this one with, with this one with that. This one is so damn identical. But I'm going to use that one. Um, I could play as Mr. T. I could play as Father John from Mind of the Builder 3. I could play as Isharn Hammerfell, also from Mind of the Builder 3. I could play as Delmare. Um, anyone else? Remind the Builder 3 in there? I don't know. But anyways, um, wait, isn't Bug in this game too? Like, isn't this profile picture in here? I thought it, maybe this replaced it. I, I can't quite remember. Anyways, okay, we'll pick this guy. And call him the same thing. Uh, we're going to do Custom. Again, this I'm just making this to be an easy dungeon. Uh, we'll have 10. Monster amount. I'm going to make it medium. Because I don't think we fought that many enemies last time. Um, treasure, put that kind of in the middle there. Food availability. Uh, put it at 2. I don't, I don't remember the exact setting, so. Um, pit frequency, we'll do... We'll make, we can make it just a little harder. Um, magical zones. See, I want to do a water level. I just don't know if the game's going to give me a water breathing scroll. Because if they, if it doesn't, then I'm pretty much screwed. I'm not going to be able to beat the game. So that's why I'm not going to do it. But magical zones, did I, is that what I was having a problem with last time? Like, I don't know. Um, God. Multi-level puzzles. There's no way I want to backtrack, so... I guess we could do that. And encounter undead. Again, if if I don't get a silver weapon, you see, here's the problem with the game. Sometimes it'll get like it'll put enemies. Like for example, it'll have you face enemies that you can't fight because you don't have the weapons yet to fight it with, which is really stupid. Um, magic power, poison strength. Put that in the middle. Enemy spells. I'll at least do that. Um, so I'll do magical zones, multi-level puzzles, no, water level, no, and counter undead. Uh, no, because again, I don't know what's going to happen. And there's no way in hell I'm doing character death real. So I think we're ready to play. Sorry that it took eight minutes. <laughs> or a little over eight minutes. Oh yeah, see, that's now FM, it's now an FM sound effect rather than digitized sound effect. See, I don't believe... Oh, wait, I can use the keypad. Oh, well, that is very helpful. Um, first thing I want to do... Oh, and a gold coin. This game likes me a lot. I guess that's because I bought it. Um, okay. We'll just call LP01. We'll save that. Okay. Then we'll do... Uh, put a temp save here. That way I know where I can save and, and not save. Okay. So, alright, I thought you couldn't use the keypad with this, but... Oh, yeah. So, as you can tell, some of the sound effects are... Definitely changed it. Ooh. I got a helm. Of course, I'm not going to put it on just yet in case it's cursed. So, besides the wob the kind of crappy mouse control, it's not too bad. Oh, we got a goblin. Yeah. You know, I, I really can't tell what's better. The, t the crappy digitized sounds in the computer version. Like, I'm, and by that, I'm talking about the ones that were carried over from Minefield 3. I'm not talking about Anthony Mollick. Yeah, don't worry, Mr. Mollick. I'm not talking about your sound effects. Your sound effects were actually good. 
but the ones that were carried over from I have to be over three are just not very good. That that is one thing I forgot to mention though. They did fix that in the DOS version with the sound where uh um sorry, the sound effects kinda of distracted me. But um where every time the monsters move you don't hear it all the time. I think it's like when you're close you do, but I don't know, I, I think they kind of fixed something about that. Oh, we got a flail. Okay. Detect pits. Okay, that could be helpful. Uh, wow, a lot of orcs around here. Um, and again, it is my mission to uncover the entire map before I can say it's completed. And in case you didn't see my last playthrough, the enemies do respawn, so um, you know, I'm not going to go for like clearing all the enemies or something. But I did turn the monster frequency up, so there is that. Sono hoko ni haikenai. Yeah, okay. That's how you say you can't go that way in Japanese. Neutralize poison. Oh, we could use that. That's a cleric spell. I forgot how to pronounce that. I just know that it means um, cleric or monk, actually. Oh, I actually kind of like the map sound on here. Not bad. Okay. Um, okay, so far I've gone everywhere that I can go, except this one path. I hope I don't run into any carrion crawlers, but yeah. Yeah, the grappling hook. Remember, we used this in Eye of the Builder 3 to get down into the underwater section. Um, I don't think I'll be able to read this. Uh, it's about ant kegs. That's all I could get out of it. <laughs> well, I do know that ant kegs, ant kegs can spit acid, so there's that. Kokoha Tsuri. Uh, I'm trying to remember this pronunciation. I think it's no kerare so ninai, betsu no michi o something ki neba. I think he says I'll never make it through here. I'll have to find another way. Mage scroll invisibility. All right, we'll scribe that. Just do a little scribing. Uh, neutralize poison. I'm definitely keeping that one. Keeping that handy. Okay. I'm actually having a little bit of fun here. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try to be more entertaining. I need to do that. I need to be more entertaining. Wow, you are ugly. I don't think he appreciates that. Yes, I don't like you because your skin is pink, okay? There, I admitted it. I'm a knight supremacist. I, I do like I do like that they changed some of the portraits though. It's pretty cool. An amulet. I don't know what it does yet. I'll figure that out later. Wah. Yeah. <laughs> I like the sound when you hit them. That's it's way it's way better. I think. Oh, gosh. And if there's one thing I don't like, it's green-skinned goblins. Yeah, die. Uh, kono something mizu wa... Is it naga? Raku tsukawarete nakata yode. Don't know that one. Niwa hoko... Okay, you know what? Never mind, never mind. And I'm boring people with my sad attempts to read Japanese, okay? Um, okay. Wait, did I just... Oh, okay, it's just like a corridor or something. Okay. I do like this dungeon, though. It's pretty cool looking. 
And again, you guys could play this on the DOS version right now if you download it. And copy the dungeon seed. Actually, my dungeon seed is right here. If anyone wants to read it. You can pause the video, can't you? Okay. Good. Okay. Um, I think this is a correct copy. I know I said that about the last one, but... I don't remember if I have the manual for this or not. I'll have to check. Come on, how do I miss when I'm trying to backstab him? Come on, game. How do I do that? Okay. Hmm. Nothing in there. Ooh, you were about to hurt me. And you're about to hurt me. Ooh, but not anymore. A lot of these 3x3 three three rooms, I notice. I guess whoever designed this dungeon had a fetish for that. I must be getting closer to the exit. Yes. I'm taking over the story now. I am the one who's fighting. Oh, these bloody orcs. I do not like them very much. How do you like my British slash American accent? It's very good, isn't it? Yes. This place reeks. But I've still got some more of it to explore. I need to be more clairvoyant with this area. More acquainted with it. I'm afraid those switches are going to snap my fingers off. Well, I never. All I'm trying to do is loot and pillage your dungeon. And you, your, your repayment for that is trying to kill me. Something is very wrong with you. Oh, there's two of you. I'm so scared. Oh, and there's two of you as well. You know what that means. More experience. Oh, jeez. There's another one. Okay. Or was that the same guy? I can't tell. Maybe the game just spawned one in my place. I'll have to watch... I'll have to replay that sometime. Isn't there some kind of memory replay spell I can cast on myself? But you know, sometimes I get the feeling that somebody is controlling me. Almost like I can't control what I do. Like my numerous bumping into walls. But I'm probably just a little crazy. Like that. I keep running into gates. I'm running too fast. This is not James Jonathan's sub sandwich restaurant. Oh, we have a... What do you call it again? Oh, a bugbear. But you don't look anything like a bug or a bear. I'll take your arrow and put it in my quiver. Ooh, and a wand. I wonder what that does. Have I uncovered the whole map? It looks like I have. Well, then I'm off to the next level. But before I do, it would probably be, probably be a good idea to save my progress. Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, there's no copy protection. Well, that's great. Okay. Well, I think that's all we got time for right now. Ah, the Hobgoblin. I forgot about that. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. God bless, and peace out.